Today we're gonna to talk to you about the CZI TH4 throwing hook, a payload delivery device that's compatible with Matrice 200 and 300 series drones. So rescue workers use payload delivery devices for multiple reasons. We can have a swift water rescue where a victim is drowning and we can bring a flotation device directly over that victim and drop it at the proper time. We can bring water or communication device to a victim that's over the side of a cliff in a gully and get the communication going between the victim and the rescue workers that are working their way down into that area. There's also scenarios where we can actually bring a tool bag with multiple types of tools or rescue equipment, EMS equipment, down to rescue workers instead of having them to haul all that equipment down to where they're going to rescue that victim. Some of the other scenarios would be out on the beach, we're able to take a drone and fly it out to a victim that's been caught in a riptide, drop in a flotation device. So this payload delivery device attaches to a dual gimbal on the Matrix series. We have it attached to the left side if you're facing it and the camera on the opposite side. The reason we need a dual gimbal is we need that camera to act as a scope to drop directly over that target. So this device has four different locations where you can attach four different payloads. So we're gonna attach using a little carabiner and a ring. You have to have something that's small enough that fits onto the little hook that attaches. Once we get it in place, we actually unlock that hook by pressing the button once up front, and then it locks by pressing that button again. So the first one's locked. So we go over to the second payload, we lift it up and we'll lock it. Then we'll go to the third, lift, put it in place and push the button to lock it in place. And then the last carabiner and hook We'll go to the back, number four, we'll pull it up and lock. Now we're gonna show you how to release the payload one at a time. Once you get to where you need to go and you have your target in sight, you unlock the system and then you make one drop at a time by pressing the arrows pointing down. There's the first drop, the second drop, third drop, and fourth. So there'll be scenarios where you may need to drop more than one payload. This enables you to do that. But there are other scenarios where you're only trying to deliver one payload, and that's what we're gonna show you today out in the field. Getting the pin in place, unlocking, lifting it up, lock. So what we have now is this rescue rope that we've attached to the number one delivery system here. Using our carabiner, a little steel leader line and ring goes to the rope. Now how we take off is kind of important. We don't wanna leave the payload right underneath the drone. What we'll do is we'll come up, we'll take up some slack of this rope. Once I get that slack nice and tight, and then we'll elevate the drone into the air. Now our payload's not swinging as we go to fly away. All right, so I'm flying out to our target and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use my camera to find the location of where I wanna make that drop. So I'll reach the camera far out in front of me to find my target. Then as I fly out to the target, I'll bring the camera down. Then I'll put the drone in place. A lot of times when we get to the location, our, our delivery system and our payload's gonna start swinging. You may wanna just wait 30 seconds, then you can go ahead and make your drop. One, two, three, bullseye. <laughs> 